I grew up in Buffalo, South Dakota. Graduated from high school there in 1950. In 1951, I came to here in South Dakota. Before I went to school, I started working at Armors. When I started working in the freezer, I got a dollar and 25 cents an hour. And when I went to the boning room, I made a dollar 64, which was quite a step up. And it was during that time that I met Norma Linderman and uh, we got married and everything was peaches and cream from then on. Well, I didn't have much money, so uh, when I got married, we wanted to buy a few things and, and uh, my wife thought I should join the credit union. It was called Armour's Credit Union and her dad was on the board of directors. So she was sure that we could get, we could get a loan if we joined the credit union. I'm not sure what the amount of the loan was, but we bought this 22 foot trailer house to live in. I think it was risky, especially for the credit union. <laughs> Starting with my wife's father, we have five or six generations. My wife and I, my children, my grandchildren, and I've even got great-grandchildren. I do all of my banking in the credit union. Uh, and I just, I just think the credit union is is so good. Those were hard times for us. We had two children born in the trailer house. Norma was ready to fly. She was out of that trailer house. Her dad and mom, I think, found a house just a block from theirs, and we wound up buying that house. And I wasn't, I wasn't too happy with it. I, I didn't think I'd ever be able to pay for that house. I think it cost $5,200. <laughs> I was scared to death, going to death that far. <laughs> but we did. I figured she was worth it. <laughs> I loved that girl with all my heart. I lived 52 years with her. She passed away last February. And I can't wait to be on the other side with her someday.